Once again, we're staying in our modifyingobjects.dwg file. What we're going to do this time is double click on the wheel to zoom extents so that we can see the whole of our floor plan and where we're working towards generating a good working environment in our office space. Now you'll remember we placed some desks and some chairs in the work area here with our nice plant to make the office seem nice and green and to have some vegetation there just to make the office look nice. We're going to zoom in on that office now. Let's get in nice and tight get it filling up the screen like so. Now, you'll notice we've got the three desks and chairs there. These two desks here are going to become hot desks. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this desk and chair in a moment. We're going to create something first, though, before we start thinking about that. So we're going to go up to the Layers panel on the Home tab on the ribbon and use this icon here, Make Current. We're then going to select our wall here, and that becomes our current drafting layer. We're going to create a little partition wall by using the line command here. So click on the line command and come into the drawing area. Perform a shift and right click. That'll bring up your snap overrides and select the nearest snap. And pick a point on the wall about here. It doesn't have to be exact and left click. And then using your polar tracking, come vertically upwards and type in a distance of 2500, 0, 0, 2500 millimetres or 2.5 metres. Press enter to finish. And as you can see, there's our line there. Just press enter to finish the line command again once more. So we've created a nice line there, but it's yellow. Why is it yellow? Well, sometimes lines are drawn on drawings that have their own individual properties. So we just go to match properties here. We select our olive colored wall line here, select it here, press enter to finish, and you can see it's now the right color. So we've just got to use match properties there. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to offset this particular line. So we're going to go to the modify panel and utilize the offset command here, like so. So we click on offset and come into the drawing area. We're going to offset this line by 120 millimeters and press enter. So we select our line and click. Now, when you move to the right, you'll see a new line with the color of the object properties, that olive green. The highlighted line is the original line that you selected. So you can see if you go either side, you can see a new line with the actual properties of what it's going to look like in the drawing. So we need to move to the right and left click to confirm the right hand side of the original object like so. And then we just press enter to finish. So you can see we've got a nice partition wall there. We go back to the line command in the draw panel and just draw a little line on the top from endpoint to endpoint and press enter. Remember to do that match properties. So we select our olive colored line and click on the little yellow line there like so and enter to finish. Now we're just going to pan upwards slightly now because what you'll notice is this gap here is different to this gap here. Now, I'm just going to delete these. I don't need to worry about them. I'm going to delete the chair and I'm going to delete the desk like so. Because what I can utilize now is the mirror command and mirror this desk and chair using the little partition wall. So this will be our hot desking area in our office. These are the hot desks, but we need a little reception desk so that people can book out the hot desks to use. So we go to the mirror command. Now be aware that the mirror command does not exist on the right click shortcut menu. So I do have to select my chair and my desk like so, and then go up to the mirror command on the modify panel. So I click on mirror like so, and it will prompt me now for the first point of my mirror line. Here's where you can cheat a little bit. If you use the midpoint snap on the top little line of the partition wall, click there and just drag vertically down, then your second point of your mirror line can be any point along that polar tracking line. As long as your polar tracking line is showing green and dash like that, just left click for that second point of your mirror line and it will prompt you now, do you want to erase the source objects? No, we don't. So we click on no and we've now got our nice little reception desk, which is equally spaced either side of the partition wall. So what we've done there is we've utilized our offset to create the partition wall and we've utilized our mirror command to create some nice equal spacing for the desks either side of the partition wall as well. And as you can see, 
very quick and easy to use. And again, more tools to allow you to modify the objects in your AutoCAD drawings.